So then we'll be showing you the benefits of printing with BuildTac, uh, which is basically an adhesive sticker that you can apply to the build plate on your Ultimaker 2. And it comes on a sheet like this. Uh, as you can see on our build plate here, we've stuck it, stuck it down on one side of the glass plate, and then the other side is just normal glass. Um, and just to show you the benefits and how it works, uh, we're going to show you a print first on the glass side, the glass side up, and we'll see how that turns out. Right, so the print we're going to do is going to be in ABS, and it's got quite a small contact patch as well, so the likelihood of it coming away is, is quite high. Um, and as you can see, this print is going quite well up until this point. and then it's come away from the bill plate. So now we're going to try a print with uh, some glue stick down. This is recommended by Ultimaker, um, so that should aid the adhesion. And it's done a little bit better that print, but still failed unfortunately. Right, now we're going to try it with our build tack. So we're just going to uh, flip the plate over to do this. And then it's really important to re-level uh, your, your build plate once you've applied the build tack. It needs to be a little bit further away than you would usually, usually have it. Okay, so build tack recommend to use a business card's uh, thickness instead of a piece of paper when levelling. Uh, this just makes sure you don't don't get the uh, the nozzle too close to the build tack because if you really press in quite hard to it, uh, you'll struggle getting it off, and there's a high chance of damaging the surface. Right, so let's start our build tack print. As you can see, it's printing really well, um, and it's stuck down for the whole duration of the print, which is ideal. Uh, it's worth pointing out that this is an ABS print, and if we try this in PLA, uh, it would have printed without any problem at all. Uh, it's just with ABS, you do get a little bit less adhesion and it's a bit more prone to warping. Right, so these are our, our prints and as you can see this one was the, was the print that we did uh, just on glass and that failed quite quickly actually, it came detached and then we added uh, the print stick glue and that one got a little bit further um, but still failed unfortunately um, and then with the build tack uh, this was the result and it printed the whole thing perfectly. Stuck down really nicely and once everything had cooled down, it came off the uh, build tack with relative ease. Right, so if you want to get your hands on a sheet of build tack yourself, we stock the perfect size for the Ultimaker 2 and you can get one by clicking the link here. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.